everybody, it's me, Mark, with ProjectJunkie.com. Today I've got a cool project for all you guys that like to go canoeing but don't like to paddle. We're going to be making an electric motor mount for your canoe. This uh, particular motor mount is specifically designed for electrics. Um, I guess if you had a, uh, a gas motor that's small enough, you could probably put it on here. But uh, anyway, it, uh, it'll take you about 30 to 45 minutes to make this thing. Take you longer to go to the hardware store and buy this stuff. Um, it's great for uh, touring and trolling or whatever else you want to use it for. I'm out here at uh, Ogden Bay today. This is a great place to, to go uh, hunting and fishing. Uh, it's mainly uh, catfish and carp, so not a great place for trolling. So anyway, let me, uh, let me go ahead and get this thing out on the water and show you what it can do. So I'm out on the water now, and man, this place is beautiful. Um, I usually like to fish out here. I didn't bring my poles today just because I was going to um, just show you guys how this uh, mount works out. But now I'm wishing I would have. Um, anyway, let me uh, let me show you this. Um, hopefully you can see the mount here good. Uh, this is nice because it's about the right height. You can just rest your arm on it. Um, this is just a little 30-pound uh, thrust uh, Minn Kota, and it works great on this canoe. Uh, one of the things in the tutorial that I'll that I'll be telling you is that uh, the mount wobbles just a little bit. Um, you can see there, it's not real real bad though. So. Uh, like I said, I've been using this for a year and a half and haven't had any problems with it. Um, if that's going to bug you, then uh, maybe beef it up with something. Um, put some fiberglass on it, I don't know. Uh, you guys can figure that out. Um, but for me, this works great. So, uh, let's go ahead and uh, open this thing up and show you what it can do. Okay, I'm at uh, full, uh, full power on my uh, motor here. We'll just get this thing turned around a little bit. Might be hard for you guys to get a sense of how fast we're moving. Um, I should have brought my GPS out here, but uh, we're moving about oh, about 10 miles an hour probably. So not too bad. You know, if you're out on a lake, this works fine. Um, I've been on some pretty big lakes with it and haven't had any problems. When the wind starts to blow and the waves get big, it's a little bit scary in the canoe just because it's wobbly. But uh, now this uh, this gets up and goes pretty good. Um, you can see uh, I've got my battery up in the front. That's just a little bit of ballast weight for uh, for me because I'm a little bit heavy back here when I'm by myself. Um, I've just got some jumper cables uh, as wire leads to the motor. So anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. That's probably all I need to really show you. Hopefully you can get a better view of how fast we're moving right there. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and get started on the construction pro pro process of this and uh, and hopefully you guys can get a motor mount made for your canoe. All right, so here are the materials for this particular uh, setup that I've got here. Now, you can adjust this however you want. Um, the only thing that I would say that, that that I might adjust if I were to make another one was on this piece of oak here. Instead of a three-quarter inch um, thick piece, I would probably go one inch. Um, just because sometimes when I kick the motor on, it does just a little bit of a twist. Um, but it's not real bad, not real noticeable. If I turn it on slow, it's no big deal. And I've never had any problems with it uh, busting off or whatnot. So anyway, let me show you what I've got here. Um, you're gonna need uh, the base here. This is a two and a half inch um, by three quarter inch thick uh, solid oak. Um, you could probably use some, some plywood. Marine grade would be better than the non-marine grade just because the, uh, the glue won't fall apart on you when it gets wet. Um, you know, this doesn't get super wet. I don't leave it outside. I put it in the garage, so I haven't had any problems with it uh, getting weathered as far as the, the wood's concerned. And so um, it hasn't really split on me or anything else. Like I said, I've been using this for probably a year and a half now. So I haven't had any problems with it. Anyway, let me show you what I've got here. Um, I've got uh, six just wood screws to screw these pieces to this board. And then I've got a piece of two by four. I used a water treated just because I had it. I think that this uh, treated board would actually work better than, than a regular two by four. So if you got this stuff laying around, use it. Um, basically all I did was I took the, uh, the motor mount and you can see the circles here where it screws on there and I cut it to, to size there. So that's all you need there is a block of wood. And then you need three, uh, 
screws here. These are just big uh, wood screws. I can't remember the uh, the diameter on those. The uh, the head size on it is uh, 11 millimeters. You can actually actually use washers with this if you want. On on here, I didn't use washers and it's held up fine. Um, the other part that you're going to need is you're going to need two half-inch bolts. Um, the uh, the length of the bolt is going to be determined by um, you know you have the thickness of the the wood you use here. Uh, in this case, I think these are uh, two and a half inch. Better just check to make sure. Okay, so these are two inch. These are just two inch bolts, um, half inch bolts. And then you'll need a, a locking nut. And then uh, three um, pretty thick washers um, that uh, go on each side. So you need two bolts, two two locking uh, nuts, and then six washers. And that's pretty much all you need for this whole contraption. So let me show you how I went ahead and um, put it all together. All right, the first process in this uh, mount is figuring out how long you need to make this baseboard here. And that's fairly uh, fairly easy. Basically, we've already taken our, our motor mount and figured out how big of a, a mount block we need. And we've already cut that off. So I just went ahead, stuck it on here, on the uh, on the baseboard here took my washers and put one on the end and one so that it doesn't uh, interfere with the uh, the block mount here and then I just figured out where I wanted this on the on the canoe like so and then uh, chopped the end of this uh, this base block off so once that's done you just mark your holes out where you want your bolts to go and um, and then stop at that point. Okay, the next thing we got to do is figure out where we want to put the uh, the blocks that go under here, so that the uh, the mount doesn't push back on the uh, canoe um, if you lean back on it or for whatever reason. So put your bolts in your holes. You can take that block off, and then push it as far forward as you can. Okay, now it's okay if the bolt kind of goes out to the side a little bit. That's all right. We're going to put those big washers on there that are just going to attach to the gunnel, so we're okay there. Uh, the next thing that you want to do is take your pe a pencil and m mark a line right here, under here. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing, see? Just mark a line along there on each side. Okay, so I've taken the bolts out now, and you can see once I flip the board over, this is how the board was. You can see my uh, my inside line here, and that's the uh, line from the inside of this gunnel here. So now what we need to do is just set up our uh, our miter box so that uh, we can cut uh, a little block that follows that line. And so that's what I've done over here already is I've made some some blocks that follow that line. You can see here, it'll get mounted on there just like that. Same thing with this side, just like that. So now you just take your wood screws. Um, I like to drill pilot holes first. That way, uh, that way it won't split the wood out. Um, the pilot hole is just big enough for the uh, the shaft of the screw and uh, leaves the uh, the uh, thread so that it can go through the uh, the wood there. I've also countersunk these so that these screws don't uh, split the wood. Well, which it's done here already. You can see I've fixed it by putting another screw right there. So anyway, um, go ahead and screw those down. I'm gonna do that right now. And, uh, and then we'll go from there. All right, went ahead and uh, screwed those blocks on there. Um, so now you can just flip your board over and you can see there that if you pull it tight this way, it's not going to, uh, it's not gonna move back on you this way. So that is good. So I'm gonna pull it tight there. The next thing you got to do is prepare your uh, your mounting block here. So anyway, we've gone ahead and marked out with some pencil the outline of the block there, and it just uh, goes pretty flush with the uh, the end of this uh, this bottom board here. And so then you just take uh, your drill and the drill. Uh, again, 
we, we do a pilot hole um, for the for the screw here and then this particular one you can actually just push through there so I use two different uh, drill bits for this and then what I do is I actually take this uh, this board once I've drilled those those first uh, three holes flip it over and put the block underneath here like this See that there, and then I uh, then I take another drill bit that's smaller, basically just um, just thick enough to where it uh, it makes a pilot hole for the uh, for the shaft and allows the uh, the threads to to grab the wood in there still. So um, that's what you want to drill here on this block. So go ahead and do that, and then. We will uh, take this and take these uh, these bolts here and screw the uh, the block on now. Those bolts uh, screwed on there. Like I said earlier, uh, you can get some washers for this if you want. Um, you can see here that I'm starting to crack just a tad bit, but uh, um, I'm not too worried about it. Um, you can also glue this back piece on or this block on if you want to. Um, I didn't worry about it though. Um, if this breaks, I'll just make another one. But uh, like I said, this has lasted me a uh, year and a half or so, so not too worried about it. But anyway, I got those on there, tightened them down. Didn't tighten them real, real tight. Um, you know, they're tight enough to where they just barely start to to uh, mar the wood a little bit, and that's all we did there. So now, I just flip this over, pull that kind of tight, and I'm going to take these uh, these bolts now, put it on there. I'm going to do. I'm gonna do one washer on top and two washers on the bottom with the, with the bolt. Okay, I went ahead and tightened those bolts down on this and this is uh, pretty much done. Uh, that's all there is to it really. Um, if, uh, if you want extra protection on this, you can go ahead and uh, use some uh, water sealant or something else on there. Like I said, I don't keep this out in the weather and the only time it really sees water is if I'm canoeing. Um, but even then it doesn't really get that wet. So. Anyway, uh, I just keep it like this. Like I said, I've used this for a year and a half now, no problems. Let me show you how I've got these bolts on there and how they're attached to the gunnels. You can see there that the, uh, the bolts are, are somewhat uh, uh, crooked on there and that's fine. That's kind of what we expected, but uh, that's on the really tight now and it's not gonna go anywhere. That's why I use the, the double uh, washers on the bottom. So you can see there, it's not going anywhere. Even on this here, you know, like I said, sometimes when I kick it on real hard, it'll wobble just a tiny bit, but not enough to, to break anything or to have any concerns. I think to in order to eliminate that, you just probably do a little bigger um, or a thicker piece of wood down here on the bottom. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, anyway, I hope you guys like this uh, little project. It's a fast one. It'll take you about 30, 45 minutes to do it. Um, you know, it'll take you longer to go to the hardware store to pick up the stuff. So anyway, uh, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them on the uh, comment section. You can find me at theprojectjunkie.com, and I'll catch you on the next project. Okay, so here's a little bridge. It's like a walking bridge um, that you can walk under. And uh, anyway, when I was coming under it for the first time, check this out. It's kind of weird. It's like mud swallow haven in here. That's kind of cool looking. I'm just glad that the birds aren't flying all over the place. Anyway, kind of weird. <laughs>